Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how green can be red. I'll show you how plants can actually recycle ultraviolet light and turn it into red light that can then be used by the plant. This effectively makes a solution of spinach look like blood when you shine a UV light on it. Chlorophyll is what gives leaves their distinctive green color. It's actually possible to remove the chlorophyll from leaves pretty easily. Okay, so I'm going to try to remove the chlorophyll from these spinach leaves here. So first I need to just mash them up a bunch. I'm gonna use my blender here to do that. I'm gonna filter out all the large chunks here. And then I'm just gonna pour 91% isopropyl alcohol over this. This removes the chlorophyll from its proper spot in the chloroplast. And once removed, we can test some of its properties that are really interesting. So now I end up with this solution that has free chlorophyll molecules in it. In this white light in the room, we expect it to look like this, this rich green color. That's because it's mostly absorbing the red light and the blue violet light from the room. So the green light is left unabsorbed. That's why it looks green here. But I have here an ultraviolet light. Watch what happens when I shine the ultraviolet light on it instead of white light. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. That is crazy. You can even see it on my hands. <laughs> So even with the lights on, if I bring it near it, it suddenly turns red. <laughs> That's so weird how it goes from green to this bright red. Look at it, green on top and red on the side because <laughs> the UV light isn't hitting the top. So weird. What's cool is you can see the alcohol actually pull out the chlorophyll. The solution on the left here, I've already added alcohol to it, but the solution on the right, I've hardly added any to it. But you can see when I pour the alcohol into it, it suddenly fluoresces brighter. That's because it's releasing all the chlorophyll from the chloroplasts. What's cool is with the lights on, you can see how the outer edges are absorbing the UV light and it's getting turned into red light, but then the red light's getting absorbed by the rest of the chlorophyll here. So it's green again. So it's like we have this outer shell of red. The reason this is happening will show us how good plants are at using all of the light radiation that comes their way. If you look at the absorption spectra of chlorophyll, you'll notice there are big peaks in the red and violet ranges. So these wavelengths can be used to drive photosynthesis really well. But remember that sunlight isn't just visible light. There are also shorter wavelengths like ultraviolet light. And ultraviolet light can actually be used to drive photosynthesis on its own, but it also creates dangerous radicals in the cells because it's ionizing radiation. So chlorophyll molecules can actually convert UV light into red light through fluorescence. When UV light hits the part of the chlorophyll responsible for its color, called the chromophore, it causes an instantaneous rearrangement of electrons. The pigment is lifted from its ground state to an excited state that lasts about a billionth of a second. But during that billionth of a second, in the excited state, it vibrates a little more and passes those vibrations onto neighboring molecules as heat. But then it falls back down to its lower energy state again and releases a photon of light. But because it releases less energy than it had to start with in the excited state, the wavelength is longer and has a lower frequency. So it releases light that's around 680 nanometers and 750 nanometers wavelength, right in the red range. And that red light can then be picked up by other chlorophyll molecules and used in photosynthesis again. So it's cool that it takes this UV light that has high energy that it can't use very well and then takes some of its energy and turns it into heat and then releases the rest as red light that's then used again. By using this fluoresced red light, the plant saved 30% of the energy of the UV light. Now when you have chlorophyll that's still in the chloroplast in the cells, then you don't see this red light as easily because it's being used in photosynthesis in the two photosystems. But when you take the chloroplasts out like we did here and have them in a solution, then you disrupt the photosynthesis process and the red light can't be absorbed, so we see it more. 
Now what's really cool about this fluorescent light that comes off is it's a really good way to tell how well photosynthesis is actually working in a cell. If it's working well, then there should be less red light that fluoresces off the leaf. But if it's not working well, like in our solution here, then it strongly fluoresces red light. Now it's a little more complicated than that, but there are machines that you can use in plants in the field that tell you about how well photosynthesis is working in that plant based on how it fluoresces light. For example, you can actually see plant stress, which shows up as these red parts in the picture here. Now if you want to try this experiment for yourself, then it's really easy because our sponsor Mel Science has created a chemistry kit that provides everything you need to do this for yourself. If you like watching my channel and doing experiments yourself, then you'll love Mel Science Boxes. Mel is a subscription box service that provides you with your own science kit shipped monthly. They're designed by real scientists and parents to give you an amazing box every time. I've used many of their kits for myself and my kids as well. They provide you with everything you need to make amazing experiments. In addition to the green is red experiment, you also get a different experiment called acid switch and glowing matter. You get a candle to heat your liquid up, spoons to scoop it, heat indicators, gloves, and of course your ultraviolet light. What I also love about this experiment box is in addition to the experiment I just showed, you can also do another experiment like this one that they included, where you get another plant-based substance that doesn't glow green, but it has a beautiful yellow-green glow to it. If you want to check out Mel Science and do the same experiment or choose from their many other kits, my followers can get 50% off any Mel Science subscription. All you have to do is click the link in my description and use code GREEN or click the QR code here. And thanks again for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you learned something. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, remember to hit the subscription button and you can also hit the bell so that you're notified when I release my latest videos. And check out theactionlab.com where we also sell some Action Lab experiment kits. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.